Yeah, right. <clears throat> Just for my education, uh, the the four percent rule. How does that work with the bonding? Well, this so these are we're getting these through an acquisition program. So we're doing financing, um, you know, financing deals with um, uh, leasing companies, if yep. you will. And so when you tell them what what your cash needs are for the, what you want to purchase, that's a rule that they have. You need to have four percent or, or less for them to take any remaining funds and allow you to apply it to your principal. So okay, so if it's over four percent, you can't apply it to principal. Right, it's too much. So too much, we yeah. we need to be able to use it. And, gotcha. And so the issue it. is, yep. we started with like certain defined vehicles and pieces of equipment, yeah. and because we're purchasing something other than that, we we internally need to go through our authorization process. Thank you. They base the rate based on amount, the amount right. we're borrowing. So, so they don't, want to return it they don't want, yeah, play games with the yeah. And the actually, rate. and I, I don't off the top of my head have what the rate is, but um, in sixteen seventeen, the rate we received is is much better than what we'll, we would get for the nineteen twenty deal because mm -hmm. the rates have started going up, up because right. of the changes that have been made to the way that they do these these deals. So this is a fort fortuitous event. Anyway. Found oh, money. Yeah, I like that. I'll move to approve a special appropriation in the amount of up to $81,851.46 from the remaining balance of the 2016-17 Vehicle Acquisition Program to purchase a 2019 Ford Escape for the Engineering Department and a 2019 Ford F-250 Super Cab for the Highway Department and forward to the Board of Finance for approval. A town meeting is required. Second. Any further comment, questions for Bill? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Any abstain? Great. The next one is, um, uh, well, the purchase of a skid steer. Is that correct? Correct. Am I on the right page? You are on the yeah. right page. So why don't you tell us about all this, Bill? Um, I've been here for 18 years now. It feels like three. Um, <laughs> and ever since I've been here, we've always realized we needed a mini excavator and a skid steer to complete our construction, our construction equipment. They're just vital pieces of equipment when you're when you're working out on the road for whether it's a utility repair, public works, or even parks and rec. Um, so we've finally gotten to the point where we can hopefully purchase a skid steer, and through s savings in the street like street light acquisition bonding money, which we've saved because we had contingency money in there for expenses we thought might come up and they have not and also we anticipated that when they were changing street lights we'd need traffic control um, for them because they're in the middle of the road they, they end up doing it in the middle of the night and they really don't need traffic control so hmm. we saved money on, on those two items to the tune of sixty thousand and change and we would like to put that money towards the skid steer with the balance coming from proceeds from the sale of vehicles that we've we've sold uh, this I believe this is also money we cannot use to repay the, the bond so um, this is a good deal and if you get down into the to the meat of this here we there is a state state bid price for a skid steer which is seventy thousand five hundred and we got two additional prices from local vendors uh, sixty six five for uh, Kubota and sixty eight five for a John Deere. John Deere. John Deere. Now, our, my, my, my people at the uh, Public Works, have, they've evaluated them, and they, they believe that the John Deere is a better vehicle, and it has better um, service and also a better parts department. So they feel that the $2,000 extra for that vehicle is well worth it, and they've recommended that, and I'm here recommending that to you today. And it's Done actually a couple thousand dollars less than the state bid. Right, that's and wonderful. I wanted to see what this looked like, so I asked them to send me a picture. So I, I only need one copy so you can just pass it. You know, pass it. Okay. I had to understand what it looked like. <coughs> How would this be helpful, Bill? When would you uh, apply something like this? Say you've got a water main break, and you've got the mini excavator out there, and you're just dig taking the dirt, and you're putting it on, on the street, you know, because you've got to get in the hole right away. This skid steer can come along and just scoops that stuff up, throws it right in the truck can run around, scoop it right up, throw, throws it right in the truck. If you've got a backhoe, 
it, it's just very cumbersome to drive along, yeah. scoop, yeah. Gotta back it up. This thing here turns on a dime. Okay. So it, it's like driving a bumper car with a bucket on the front of it. Right. And then the other thing wow. Joe mentioned to me is we can get, you, there, like there's a, a ton of different attachments you can get for these um, pieces of equipment. And one, one would be a mower, some kind of a mower blade, and that would be useful up at the transfer station because at, at times we do need to cut the grass up there. It you know, kind of grows high. That's another use. It can be used to, um, I think. You can put augers on these. You can put snow blowers on them. You can put anything you can think of you can put on one of these things. It's amazing. Sweepers. Does, it, does this come with all of those attachments? It does not. Those no, are all no. this, with The one we're purchasing just comes with the bucket. Where's the yeah. Mark Schlinner will be buying one now that he's heard about it, though. No. Oh, these I, I don't want one. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure. talking about. <laughs> are you getting it with the tracks? Place the wheels? The picture shows tracks. There's the tracks. Security. Tracks. Yeah, we, want, we definitely want tracks. All right. I'll throw a motion out there. I think Mark Can I, a I have one oh. question, though. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I assume you, you followed the purchasing policy or new purchasing policy on this? Yes, I saw three quotes. We, we, well, we actually went, went state, we exceeded state low bid. Yes. So at that point, we just decided to get two other quotes to meet the three state quotes. Okay, because there was an exception with the state if you went with the state. Right. Right. Okay. So we, I, and I, we actually we exceeded, exceeded the state. I, I believe. Okay. The third one is the state one. Lower than the state. Right. We, went exceed, state, we, we did better than state low bid yeah. and then yeah. total of three bids altogether anyway. So. Okay. How wide is that vehicle? Well, uh, about four feet, I think, three and a half to four feet. Yeah. So it, four, not maybe, maybe four to five. I don't know what, I don't remember which size oh, exactly I we got. I asked that question myself. Dimensions of the width? Yeah. So it can't be used as a backup slide, uh, sidewalk plot? Uh, it might be able to. I yeah. don't know the answer to that. It, it can be, but when you come to a pole, sometimes you can't get by the pole. <clears throat> We use them at work. <laughs> depending on how wide the sidewalk is and if there's any structure on the street side of the sidewalk, utility pole or Our something. current sidewalk vehicle is five feet wide, so it, it may, be, <coughs> may be able to. I just I don't want to tell you it's something I don't know definitively. I wonder if it would be worth it to buy that attachment. Yeah, just, yeah. Actually, the, the yes, day before yesterday, they were talking about buying a, a uh, it's a, the big thing that collects snow so that you can go into a parking lot. I can't remember, can't think of the name of it. Snowbox. Snow box. So we can get a snow box so that we could assist in parking lot um, snow cleanup. The, literally anything you can think of, you can attach to one of these. But I think that will come with the later appropriation, right? Because you need to price that out and we need to find financing for it. Yeah, oh yeah, we, the, these are all. But but I think we'll figure out but the I'm uses just saying, for it. This is, an ex this is not, um, Depleting that account, is it? Well, depleting what account? The 2016-17 acquisition. <clears throat> no. It, 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 we light. will be using the remaining funds um, from the street light deal that we had, and then we'll be using um, some funds that we have available in the proceeds from the sale of vehicles in our CNR refund. But not depleting that. Oh, that absolutely was, not. Yeah. No. So, no just what I'm saying, as long as we're making the purchase now, is this something that? We should consider because that is a problem we have. Yeah, it, and this is in the this is in our vehicle acquisition plan. We're taking it off of this year's request. Yeah, it was the next question was I see it on here. We, we right. have two things. For you have on here seventy five thousand dollars for skid steer with mower attachments. That was one of the three numbers and the red off. Didn't we just buy two sidewalks? But that was the estimate that we used for we the budget. Did. Yes. And so, in terms of, so you're talking about what's in the budget? Yeah. Yeah. So we that comes off too. So there's three items that the last no, year we already one. talked about that. And I that. had, I had yeah. mentioned that when I gave you the yeah. numbers. Yeah. What what okay. the what next year's cost would be? Yeah. And <laughs> and just so you know that the streetlight program is still going along fantastically, and in four years we should uh, see a decrease of 140 thousand per year in that account once we get past the bonding hurdle. Rosie, we bought two new sidewalk plots last year, if you remember. So. Um, I don't know if we need that attachment or not for that for spe specific reason. There might be other reasons to get the snow box and uh, maybe for the boardwalk or something else. But um, just want to remind people of that. Did you put a motion on yet? Uh, no. Yep, I'm going to right now. You good? Yeah, I'm going to move to top, a top. approve a special appropriation in the amount of up to $68,500 to purchase a John Deere model skid steer from W.I. Clark for the 
from the following accounts. One, $60,477.86 from the remaining balance of the 2016-17 Streetlight Acquisition Program. And two, $8,022.14 from CNRE account 32-60-120-100-002. Proceeds from the sale of vehicles and forward to the Board of Finance for approval and a town meeting is required. Second. Any further comments, questions, suggestions? <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Very well detailed and really helped to get through this. We'll need you again next Wednesday, more than likely. So this is probably the fiscal year transfers made within the departments that Anna was referring to. Um, you have um, a number of them listed on a, um, a matrix behind the initial page. So I'm looking at that. What was... I don't know if well, yeah, there any questions? Yeah, what was the... The eight thousand dollars for to legal conservation was it being mo moved to legal conservation? Yeah. So um, in the legal <coughs> um, in the legal category of the budget, we have like general government, um, public safety um, negotiations, town negotiations for our unions, um, conservation, um, planning, zoning, and so um, the. But I guess what was conservation what we had. Uh, more activity than we originally estimated and in zoning we had less activity than we originally estimated wetlands. so we just oh, oh it's, yeah. it's really wetlands. wetlands yeah okay because this is conservation yeah it's that's really that it's really well yeah. yeah okay yeah that makes sense that's what I was gonna say I wasn't aware of anything of conservation okay so is that the right number legal conservation or is it does that cover wetlands it does okay yes. so we're good that's my question okay. thanks I move to ratify departmental transfers in the amount of fifteen thousand five hundred and twenty-nine dollars and five cents processed for fiscal year and June thirty, two thousand nineteen, and to forward to the Board of Finance for approval. Second. Any further comments, questions on this? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? <coughs> there we go. So. Um, we're, we're at the, con the budget review process and budget deliberations. Um, we don't have any more to review, um, so we are indeed in bu bu budget deliberations. Um, and I will I'll ask for what your pleasure might be. <coughs> Anna, have you already calculated the deletion of certain items from the capital I have the numbers for you yeah. well, before well, why we do that uh, it's I not fully you, approved I was, gonna, I was just going to say but do we want to back that out now or wait until it's approved because I'd love to get the number down but if finance doesn't approve it it doesn't pass that meeting you know I, it, and it, it's very likely that it will it, but it's not guaranteed I had that same thought process mm. myself what would the number be? If you, did you say you had a number? Uh, I had because some things were being bought out right and some things were. Fine. I had like thirty-three thousand uh, with the four figure, three figures you gave us. It it come out to about thirty-three thousand. That's about right. Yeah. And nine dollars is what I had from next year's uh, capital that we can take out. I think we take it out. If you take it out, you're gonna have, and it gets disapproved, you're gonna have to take it from somewhere else after the budget's approved. If Whether there's any, you know, uh, they, the board of uh, finance generally adds and subtracts um, on their end anyway. Sometimes they ask me to cut, say, fifty thousand out, but while well, I'm cutting fifty thousand, I'm adding in twenty five, so I'm really cutting seventy five. I mean. But if we did approve it, you could give them this number to cut when it gets to them. Yeah. If they approve this 
Yeah, that's my thought. But two of them have yeah, to leave it in there and let them. Two of them have to go to a Give them something to cut. And, and yeah. Not that we like to play those games. Well, it's um, not a game. It's no, just no, it's no, no, no. I know. Yeah. Well, I want to be clear on that. We're not trying to. Just to cover mm-hmm. ourselves. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. Let's leave it in and, 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 and asterisk it, and uh, it will be cut. Pending approval, it's an uh, yeah. item to be removed from the new next budget. We, I mean, may I suggest we can do a uh, a letter of transmittal to the board of finance with the budget and and note those three items yeah. and bring it to their attention. Right. Okay. Other other um, items or, or things that have come out during the budget process. Oh, I think the budgets are very lean. You, you know, I, I I look at last year we took basically a zero, or actually wasn't it actually it a was little a bit less? Less than zero. It was a little bit less than zero, which you know, um, it was a difficulty. And, and here again, I'll give credit to all the departments and. And boards and commissions, and, and you know, and finance is in a tough spot, especially this year. I mean, we're looking at possible contributions that um, Anna was pointing out today. That we are looking at what Anna possibly, if the governor's proposal goes through as he submitted, we'll have to contribute about 130 thousand towards the teachers' retirement next year. That's yes, 130 thousand seven hundred and seventy-one dollars. That's okay. the number. That's out there right now for East Line. Now that could change, and, and Anna made, I thought she made a really good point there when I was talking to her about this. She said, the state should tell us this in, you know, September so that you can budget it for it and prepare for it, not after our budget packages are all prepared and we're getting to look forward to it and move forward with them. But, but that, you know, I, I look at, uh, you know, Parks and Rec, they've increased their, co- uh, their uh, fees this year to help cover uh, their costs for operating our parks um, our library our uh, senior center you know I go in there on occasion to you know I, I got to call the numbers at bingo a couple weeks ago the place is really crowded there's a ton of people in there um, on a regular basis and the needs there are just going to increase over time I just think it's a it's very difficult to find a place to see where anybody is over extended uh, what their needs are. And Joe Bergal comes in again with a 0% budget, and I think our roads are second to none when it comes to being clean and passable whenever we have problems or whenever the, a, a problem pops up, so. Yeah. I, d- <coughs> I do have a question on the revenues. Is our education, it looks like we have a, we're anticipating a $441,000 increase in education cost sharing. Is that? Is that what we're really expecting? Well, here, so with regards to the education cost sharing, the number, the what we had in our projected budget last year was less than the number that we actually received. So that's why. Um, oh, it looks, it looks like an increase? It looks like a higher increase. Oh, uh, okay, so we were expecting bigger cuts. Right. Okay. In the uh, Cheney Park. Down seven thousand dollars. Is that because of the one dock? No, it's rental of the porta parties. I thought. Yeah, because we have the. Uh, we have but that's a revenue. Rent Cheney Park. That. Oh, it's the revenue. How much did yeah. it go up? Well, we had originally projected eighteen, nineteen, fifteen thousand, and you have proposed eight thousand. So yes. are we expecting less money from it, the? It's, that's from, from it's the dock, that right? One dock. Oh, the, that one dock. We but that one dock's half of. Lost a dock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we lost the dock that's under the bridge. The bridge yeah. construction. But, we're but that's half the revenue. they're paying us for that easement as well. Who, state is? The state's going to pay us for the loss of the parking spaces. Mm-hmm. But that hasn't been determined yet. I don't think we've signed the contract on that. So I'm not sure we can count that as revenue. But it seems like that's one of the smaller docks? It was just, a, it was. Right, because we if we had 15,000, we're reducing it by seven, which is. That doesn't make Half sense. This seems doesn't seem. No, they were paying fifteen hundred dollars a year. They're paying fifteen hundred dollars a year. So why are we have fifteen thousand? Some are we renting something when else? I look, well, when I looked at the list, it was my understanding that was the reduction that I had to make. Uh, I can look at it. We and weren't making fifteen okay. though. 
We uh, weren't making 15 last year or the year before down there. We were making 1,500 times three. Uh, and, oh, wait a minute. And then. Is there anything we're And then Black, Black Hawk? Hawk is 10,000 a year. Right. So then, so if that's 10,000, we got 15. Is it 1,500? Right now it's three times three. I think it's 16. I think that revenue number is off. So why don't we um, agree to take a look at it yeah. and look at the leases and we can amend. So if we increase that revenue, we'll decrease what we need from taxes. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. 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 I think yeah. there's also, a, I think the state is going to pay us some money for the loss of parking spaces mm -hmm. down there, which really will hit. Dave's mm -hmm. beach fund because he'll not have income mm -hmm. for people yeah. parking. However, we're going to take that as general government revenue now that he's left the room. Um, <laughs> and um, it, we're losing the, the lease on that. And he hasn't gotten home yet to watch this. So, uh, but, but there is, we are going to gain some uh, revenue on that. So I'm going to include that in there as well, Mark. Thanks for pointing that out. Yes. The only other thing I have is historic properties commission is asking for a little more money. Mm -hmm. While I understand that the original promises and stuff like that, they have a beam that's the problem. We should fix it. I'd be I'd be interested in br bringing that up to three thousand. Yeah, I'd support that. I mean, we have a responsibility. I, things were said, right. but and we have volunteers that are yeah. taking time. And, pl and plus something that uh, questions the structural integrity of the right, building. Yeah. You you don't want to have volunteers. Not that they're not capable, but you want to have somebody who's insured and licensed and yes. so forth like that. I mean, I don't know if 3,000 even covers it, but it's... I had a conversation with uh, Mr. Bullock, uh, Ben Bullock, who sat here didn't speak. And I said, you know, a law... A, a perception is everything. And if they... If the Board of Selectmen could perceive that you are out there trying to raise money. For instance, I was around when we voted on buying the building and they, they yeah. promised they weren't going to be a drain on the town. But I've only given one donation because I've only been asked once. Yeah, I think you know, I think I cut a several hundred dollar check one time because I got something in the mail and I sent it back and I included a check. I said, that's got to be done every six months. You're going to create this database. You know, the the library collects, I think, $100,000 for their endowment. 30 something. 30, yeah. It is 30, yeah. Yeah, 30, yeah. I think it's grown to 100. 30. Their endowment yeah. is 100. Right. Uh, but they collect money every year. Mm -hmm. and, and it's substantial. People cut big checks and get into their different clubs and status. They need to do that. And they need to grow that. And never mind the events that they should be putting on and, and collecting money. I, I went to that revolutionary thing. Um, and they had a jar. Mm -hmm. And when you have a jar, you get a dollar, you get a five, and you get a 20. But you don't get ever a 100 or $300. Mm -hmm. and, and if you asked, if you put someone on a mailing list and you hit them a couple times a year, they could get that. And I think they're going to work toward that. I think there's some, a little bit of a change in... Leadership, Ben's brought some energy uh, and a commitment now that he's fully retired. And I think we're going to see a little bit off of that. And I think we need to get energized and kind of be that support and, and maybe right. a crutch for them. Um, I agree, but I would like to also support Mark for the time being because I think that this is a major problem. Yeah. It's a big expenditure. It's to the building itself. Yep. Um, and this... You think say time to get off the ground. This is a, I, I think we should, I personally think we should do it. So I want to move that figure to, would you say 3,000? 3,000, 3, yeah. From 2,500? Yeah. It's not all that they requested, but it's a, it, it should Step get them the over right the hump. Way. And then what you just said. Okay, so well, 222 building maintenance go from 25, okay. Let me throw it out there. I, we give $2,500 to the Thomas Lee House, which has an endowment, mm -hmm. which has <coughs> significant donations sitting in banks. Um, and, and, you know, I've wrestled with this. Do we support them financially anymore? Or do we take that stipend and add it to what we give to Samuel Smith and, and move it over there? 
Not this year. Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. I mean, there is still yeah. pretty new. So, Thomas Lee House has been in operation for many years. Mm -hmm. they, they have, have, a, they have yeah. a lot of descendants that right. send big money. So, I, I think at this point, I think $500, let's not kill ourselves over it. Okay, let's just do that for now. So add add five hundred dollars to the uh, historic properties. One thirty nine two two two. Right. And it has that. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirty six fifteen for the bottom one. Anything else? Are there any other? Uh, Anna, we heard from both fire departments. And there was some major increases in the personnel. Did we go back and calc? You and I had talked about whether those numbers were right or not, um, because they would. Do you remember? There's some the fire department, especially ninety-five. What are they fire. talking about? Um, their increases in their personnel, uh, their their payroll, etc. And I'm not sure yeah. if they calculated that correctly or not. I'm not sure that you. Are and you I talking would about in the contingency? For next year, oh, the oh, Niantic oh. Fire Department. I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. getting late. We've okay. been at it all so day. So, with regards oh, to hours. Niantic Fire, um, in I had gone back and I looked at, um, I went back a few years because I wanted to see how much overtime we were paying each of the firefighters. And when I looked at um, Flanders Fire, they were they're pretty much right on the money. Okay. Niantic, when I looked at him again and, and taking into consideration that we're adding a firefighter, I mean, I, I think somewhere between 99 and 100 would probably work. So there's a few thousand dollars worth of wiggle room in that, in that account. But Under this year, this year he's going to spend uh, w about 77,000. But you have to remember, he... In, in next year's budget, there's an additional firefighter. Which line are you in? The 614. That's the overtime. Overtime. Account. Okay. Yeah, the other thought was when I uh, am negotiating with the union um, to add these overtime positions in, I want to negotiate. <laughs> I guess the fine art of negotiation, so you don't put it on the microphone. But the, the uh, make some changes. The overtime, guaranteed overtime for firefighters, doesn't necessarily have to happen with these new positions. Right now, they're guaranteed in contract nine hours a day, and that might not necessarily need, need to be part of the negotiation um, going forward. So we might be able to save some overtime. Uh, I think that's where my where my head went with this. Is it as we're putting on firefighters, we might be able to reduce the number of hours back to a normal work day. Right now, we need that nine hours for the for the seven that work for us mm -hmm. because we're trying to cover so much. Um, they come in in, in in split shifts, so um, maybe that's our calc that we can do with the board of finance. I was going to say that might not be a bad idea because right now, if that works, let's out, do that. Yeah, you and I, let's get together and, and, and calc that. Uh, overtime if we don't have overtime for the new firefighters because there's a huge jump there for, for for both so we'll leave that for the board of finance we have to do some fine tuning on that mm -hmm. okay and I still and have to meet with the fire department uh, union to negotiate that um, I have another question um, probably don't have the answer to it do you anticipate mark <coughs> Uh, coming out of this vision committee, there's been talk with the new public safety building reconfiguring possibly the community center. That's, I know, at least up for discussion. Not in this Extending, no, 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 I know that. Yeah. Extending the mm -hmm. library, potentially. Yeah. Right. Does it, do you anticipate that could impact? In other words, we're, we're being asked to redo the carpeting in there. If there's going to